Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. Just a few housekeeping items before we do get started. There's a Q&A button located at the bottom of your screen, which you can use to ask questions to our presenters at any time. If you do have a question for a specific college, be sure to mention the college within your question. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you, and the session is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same site where you registered. Now, without further ado, I'll turn it over to our first institution, which is Butler University. I was muted, let's try again. Hello, welcome. My name is Katie Pop, and I'm here to represent Butler University. First and foremost, thank you for joining us this evening to learn a little bit more about the colleges here tonight. Butler University is located right in the heart of the city of Indianapolis, located here in our great state of Indiana. I'm excited to share all about Butler with you today. I'm gonna briefly go through different components, so hang tight as we go on this journey. So first and foremost, you may wonder, who is Butler University and what makes up that college overall? So Butler University is a small private institution, as I mentioned, located here in the heart of the city of Indianapolis. Our average class size is kept at right around 22 students with an 11 to one student faculty ratio. You'll notice that that unique undergraduate enrollment just shy of about 5,000 students. We have an advantage to be able to offer really big opportunities to students on a small and intimate scale. This has also led us to be the number one regional university in the Midwest. Now, for some of you listening, you may have had a chance to see Butler on TV through opportunities with Pinkle Fieldhouse and March Madness, or perhaps visit us during the winter season for our live performance of the Nutcracker. But a lot of students want to know more about the academics that Butler can offer. We like to say we're one university with six different colleges. You'll see those six colleges listed below, a little bit of everything for everyone. A unique component to a school like Butler University but we have many opportunities for students to pick up a double major or minor during their time on campus between broadcasting and biology during their time as a Butler Bulldog. Another thing, however, that all of our students share together within these six colleges is a liberal arts foundation. This may be a new term for most of you, but I like to say this liberal arts foundation is what really prepares you to be well rounded within your program. You'll learn to read, write, research and think throughout multiple different subjects, including that of your chosen choice. However, coming to Butler also involves a world outside of academics as well, as you live to learn within the city of Indianapolis um, and grow into professional. And so I have a friend with me here today. This is Butler Blue the Fourth, often known as Blue. He is Butler's live mascot. I highly recommend you give him a shout out or connect with him on social media if you haven't already. And he's going to take us through a quick journey through campus as I kind of narrate what you're seeing today. And so first on the list is Robertson Hall. This is the home of the um, financial aid and admission office here on campus. If you ever come for a campus tour, which we are open for explore students and admitted as well, you'll stop at Robertson Hall first and foremost and potentially even get your picture of Butler Blue the Forest. I also want to note that all of our students here today have a designated admission counselor like myself who works with your school and your hometown to guide you through the process. So head to our website, findyouradmissioncounselor.com on Butler's website to connect with your admission counselor. It's never too early to get started. Our application does go live on August 1st and our early action deadline is November 1st. So that's a great way to get connected. This summer we'll also offer a lot of exclusive events for students. So feel free to get connected. You'll see, however, that Mr. Blue here is very scholarly here in his letterman jacket. And his next place he wants to take us is our academics um, as they transition into the world of athletics. So he is hosted here in Stella Cool. And right behind him, as I mentioned, is that very historic Kinkle Fieldhouse. You may have even recognized it from the movie Hoosiers. Butler has over 20 Division I athletic teams that are great for students to not only participate in, but also to enjoy um, from a standby perspective as well. Homecoming is for sure one of my favorite traditions. I'll share more about that at a later moment. However, when students are not enjoying athletics, they also are enjoying the many opportunities of student life on campus. Butler has over 120 plus student organizations, and opportunities to explore in multiple ways. This could be through internship opportunities, alongside as well, opportunities to study abroad or get involved within the city of Indianapolis. You'll see here that Blue is at the home of one of the oldest and largest observatories in Indiana. And I also wanna give a quick shout out as well to Clues Memorial Hall, one of the oldest theaters in Indiana. 
the great part of a school like Butler University is well, you'll have opportunities to really dive into your academics. You can explore the world of the city behind you, which leads me to a nice, beautiful overview of campus um, in general. We do want to encourage you to come visit Butler, learn more about the many opportunities we can offer our students between that small class size compared to that large stage of presence with research and academics. Butler has a little bit of everything for everyone. Once again, I do want to just thank you for joining us today. I'm going to drop some information in the chat for you to connect with your admission counselor, along with opportunities to come visit campus. As I did mention, we are open and we encourage all of our soon to be rising seniors to come get their hands on campus. Too. So thank you for your time. Thank you so much for that presentation. Up next, we have Marion University. All right, let's get this started. Awesome. Hey, can you all hear me okay and see me? If I could get a thumbs up. Yes, we can. You are all set. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I'm Nairi Modisset, and I have my amazing coworker, Brianna Bigler, with me. And we are freshman admission counselors at Marion University. And so we are here to support you and guide you through the college process. And so I'm excited to share some information with you. Um, should you have any questions throughout the presentation, please utilize the chat and Brianna and I will be more than happy to assist you. Okay, so who is Marion? Uh, we are here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we are 10 minutes from downtown. So that's great internship uh, opportunities for our students. And we have about 3,700 students enrolled with us, including our uh, graduate students. And in the classroom settings, our student to faculty ratio is 13 to one, meaning students can uh, expect 13 to 20 students in their class. So if you are looking for the small community, family field kind of campus, Marion can offer that to you. As far as our academics, um, we have 41 majors, 48 minors, and 30 concentrations we offer. I uh, here are the, our top five majors um, at Marion. I also would like to highlight with you our uh, this 21st century scholar number. Um, this year we enrolled our largest class of 21st century scholars, um, which we're very excited about. Uh, we have a wonderful office dedicated to our scholars with full-time staff, um, supporting you from your first year all the way until graduation helping you with your social and life skills, but also helping you with your scholar core requirements. So academics, um, I mentioned to you our academic programs we offer, and um, we have seven colleges that make up Marion. So our Byron School of Business, if you are interested in marketing, accounting, finance, business management, business analytics, um, this is where you will be housed. We have our College of Arts and Sciences and our Klipsch Educators College, uh, where our liberal arts colleges are, our liberal arts academic programs and our uh, elementary and secondary education are housed in our educators college. And we have wonderful um, simulation opportunities with our educators college and a full tuition scholarship opportunity with the next generation Hoosier educator scholarship. And we have our nursing and our exercise sports and science program. And th these are growing programs for us. Um, as you saw, nursing is our top major, and we can certainly support you with our state-of-the-art facilities that we offer in the hands-on experience and our internship opportunities for students in the clinical experience. Our St. Joseph's College, and this is our, our two-year program, so students can obtain their associate's degree. Uh, we understand that a four-year bachelor's degree is not always what um, students want for themselves. So we wanna provide you with another way of also achieving your uh, academic goals and success with our two-year uh, program. And we're excited to announce our engineering school. Uh, we'll have our own school available in the fall of 2022 and offering um, different disciplines in our engineering program. And we still have our own engineering program. It's a dual degree program uh, where students receive a degree from Marion, but also from Purdue University for completing their engineering program. As far as things to get involved in on campus, um, we are Catholic and Franciscan, um, but students do not have to be Catholic to attend Marion, but we offer faith um, as a part of students, um, and a part of their college experience. So students are wanna get involved in faith-based programs and our campus ministry. 
that is available to them. Uh, com cam uh, community service is also a great opportunity to get involved in. And we have five residence halls available to students and we are almost done with our new residence hall for our first year students um, that will be available in August. Um, so different, we want students to get that full experience on campus. Um, our study abroad program is another way for students to get involved. Athletics, um, a third of our student population are student athletes, which we're very proud of. Um, our, we are Division II and AIA, so we offer athletic awards to students who are being recruited to join our teams. Um, so if you are interested in any of our athletic programs, feel free to connect with Brianna and I. We're happy to um, speak with you more about it and connect you with one of our coaches. Um, our student-led organizations, we have 50 clubs on our campus from some interest groups to our multicultural programs housed in our Unity Center. And we have employment opportunities for our students as well to get involved in. So if you are interested and you're a senior, um, our application is still live um, for our fall 2021 class. Um, it's available on our website and it is free. It takes 10 or 15 minutes to complete. Um, we don't require an essay. And then um, you can submit your high school transcript to us. We are test blind university, meaning you do not have to submit your ACT or SAT scores to us. Um, so once we get your application materials, we'll follow up with your, uh, with your admission decision and let you know about one of the academic scholarships we um, you should receive. Um, for our freshmen through juniors, it's never too early to get started and start um, visiting campus and even to our seniors too. So we would love to welcome you to campus and show you around. Um, and this is our contact information for Brianna and I. Uh, so please feel free to reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to assist. Thank you all so much. Thank you for that presentation. As a reminder for our attendees, if you do have questions for any of the colleges you are seeing today, definitely don't hesitate to put those into the Q&A below. Up next, we have Indiana State University. All right, well, welcome everybody. Great to have y'all here today. So my name's Blaine, I'm one of the admissions counselors over here at Indiana State University, uh, located right in the heart of downtown Terre Haute, Indiana. So as I like to say, we're probably just far enough to be away and kind of get a break from being home, but also just close enough to that you can kind of get back and forth pretty easily. So if you don't know or haven't been to Terre Haute, it's only about an hour to the west of Indianapolis, pretty much on the Illinois-Indiana line. So we're a median sized institution, just under 11,000 in total enrollment. So we're not massive, but we're not small by any means either. Uh, our average GPA, about a 3.2 over this last class. Um, your most, most of your classes here are gonna be you know, on the size of about 25, maybe 23 students per class. So pretty small, you know, able to have a lot of that one-on-one -on -one attention. And then another factor that we're really proud of here at ISU is we're actually the most diverse campus in the state of Indiana. So what, you know, majors you may think of, different opportunities that we have, maybe reasons you're looking at Indiana State. Well, there's over a hundred majors to choose from and about 90 pairs. And I would say some of those bigger majors are our professional aviation and flight program, our school of business, our nursing as well. Um, maybe even education. That's how we started out, you know, being a teacher's college and have grown into the university that we are today. So our total, you know, Sycamore family spans all around the globe, all around Indiana. I know if you're looking at being an educator, most likely there's, you know, your school's probably got someone who went through one of our programs before. Um, we are as well a Division One NCAA school. So if you like watching sports, all those are free for students to attend. So lots of different things to get involved with here, not only in town, but on campus, over 200 plus student organizations and a lot of different special interest clubs. Most likely if you have an interest, probably have something for you. Um, two, maybe you're you know, wondering what does it take to get into ISU? Well, we are looking for GPAs of 2.5 or better. Um, we are SAT, ACT score optional. So you don't have to have you know, those test scores to be admitted. Still encourage you to send them in, could help you out with some scholarships, but by no means do we need that to make an admissions decision. Our application is on our website only. So you just go to indstate.edu forward slash apply, 
fill out the application there. And if you're a senior, it is still open and live. So there's still time. Juniors, your application will open up here starting in August. So it will be here shortly and before you know it. We do have merit-based scholarships that we offer as well. Most of those start at a 3.25 and go up from there. But in the meantime, you know, if you're looking around and trying to get an idea of what we do have and what we do offer, feel free to go to our scholarships webpage at indstate.edu forward slash scholarships and look at you know, our different options there. We also have a program called The Branch and in there you can get in and fill out the individual or competitive scholarships as I like to refer to them as. So lots of opportunities, you know, lots of ways to help you make that cost of college here affordable. So we are fairly reasonable you know, on our tuition to start off with. We're just a little over 9,000 for the year and you're just looking at a little over 11,000 total for room and board. And that does include meal plan on the slide that you're looking at uh, now. And good news is too, is if you have a GPA at 3.0 or 3.8 or better, uh, we actually have a couple scholarships that may you know, encompass that entire uh, cost there. So definitely kind of keep that in mind. Other opportunities that we have here, you know, living on campus, it's something we require all students if you live outside of our 60 mile radius to do that first year. And we also have what we call living learning communities. So lots of opportunities to get involved, immerse yourself even more in a area of interest that you may have. Uh, for instance, some of these are maybe program specific, some are more, um, you know, maybe social interest, for instance, our sustainability uh, and recycling floor that we have. So if you have an interest like that, but it's a great way to get involved. They will do different programs throughout the years, when, regardless of where you live in any of the halls, but some of the halls though in those areas will have special programs. So again, another great way to get yourself immersed and maybe even meet professor and faculty after hours as well. So if you would like to, always feel free to scan the scan me uh, down there at the bottom. That'll take you to our information page and we'd be happy to answer anything or any other questions you may have going forward. But with that, that is all the information I really have for you today. So hopefully I kind of answered some questions for you, uh, give you some things to think about Indiana State and see why there's maybe more to blue uh, going forward for your college career. Thank you all and have a great day. Thank you for that presentation. Up next, we have St. Mary's College. It would help if I unmuted myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Colleen Burke. I'm an admission counselor here at St. Mary's, and I'm very excited to be here with all of you this evening to share some information with you. Um, just a little brief introduction of who we are. We are a smaller institution. We have roughly around 1,600 students on our campus. Uh, we are located here in South Bend, Indiana, so about 90 miles from the city of Chicago. Um, and I would say about two and a half hours or so outside of Indianapolis. We are also located right across the street um, from the University of Notre Dame as well too, and next door to Holy Cross College. Since we are a smaller institution, what that means is our students are getting a very individualized and personalized educational experience. Our average class size is around 17, 18 students in a class setting. So it's nice knowing that you're gonna get to not only know your professor, um, but get to know the other women in class with you as well too. We have over 50 academic programs our students can choose from. Um, our, some of our more popular programs include nursing, education, business, communication studies, psychology, biology as well. We have a unique dual engineering degree program with the University of Notre Dame. And then we also have a speech language pathology program offered on campus with a master's too. Along with that, if you're research oriented, we have a ton of opportunities for students to get involved both on our campus here at St. Mary's and across the street at Notre Dame. All of our students will conduct research within their major their senior year, but even prior to your senior year, just know that we have those opportunities available for you. So for those of you who may not have known coming in here this evening, we are an all women's college. And as an alumna of St. Mary's and myself, I can say there are amazing benefits that go along with being at an all women's college. It is not that mean girl scenario or the environment or anything like that, that I know I thought it was going to be when I was looking at schools not terribly long ago. Um, it's a very empowering environment, a place where you're really gonna get your confidence built up. Um, you're gonna get that support that you may be looking for. 
And it's just nice knowing that everybody around you truly wants to see you do well um, and wants to see you be successful both in and outside of the classroom. It's also really nice waking up at 8 a.m. for your 8 a.m. class, not having to do your hair, makeup, anything like that, because there's nobody in class that we're looking to impress. You can just go and focus on yourself and your academics. Along with that, you can see that women who graduate from women's colleges are more likely to go on and complete a graduate degree versus women coming from public universities. Um, and women graduating from women's colleges also feel more prepared for their jobs than women coming from public universities. I think a lot of that truly is the confidence that our students are building, knowing that they can go and pursue those degrees and can go and be successful in the work that they're doing when they graduate. And our students are doing just that. We have 95% of our recent graduates are either fully enrolled in a graduate program or within, uh, or fully enrolled in grad school or with a job within one year of graduation, um, which is something we are very proud of here at St. Mary's. We have a lot of ways to facilitate that for our students. We have a career fair offered on our campus every year. Notre Dame has one as well too that our students are invited to attend. We also have our career crossings office that works with students with choosing a major, um, resume building, uh, cover letter help, mock interviews for job, grad school, they also have access to our alumni resource network that has over 8,000 alums that our students can connect with. So a lot of great resources there that our students can have not only for their four years at St. Mary's, but even after they graduate. And you can see here just a few places that our students have ended up after graduating from St. Mary's. They truly go all over the country and the world. Here at St. Mary's, we also believe that the value of the education that you're going to receive is priceless. Uh, we have 100% of our incoming students receiving merit-based scholarship. This year, that scholarship range from, ranges from $15,000 to $30,000 and is renewable all four years. Along with that, our students are also applying for the FAFSA and receiving St. Mary's institutional grant money, campus employment opportunities, student loans, and then of course, we do accept outside scholarship. We also have 91% of our St. Mary's graduates graduating in four years, and we are so confident that you will also graduate in time that we do have our four-year promise. Um, I definitely recommend going to our website and checking that out um, to learn more about that. We are also nationally um, ranked uh, consistently among the top national liberal arts colleges and number 47 in best value schools. While we are an all women's college and our students get the amazing benefits that go along with being at an all women's college, what's nice is not only are they part of the St. Mary's community, but they are also part of a tri-campus community with Notre Dame and Holy Cross College. Our students can get involved academically across the street at Notre Dame, get involved in clubs and organizations between St. Mary's and Notre Dame. There's a little over 500 clubs and organizations students can get involved in. They can go to the dances, social events, sit in the student section for all the home Notre Dame football, basketball, and hockey games. So a lot of ways that our students can still have that big school and co-ed experience, but also still get the benefits of being at a smaller institution and an all-women's college. So some information about our application and the admission process here. Um, but we are members of the Common Application. That application will open on August 1st. To any seniors out there know we are still accepting applications on a space available basis. Um, we've got two ways that our students can apply. You can see here what those deadlines look like. I do just want to note early decision here at St. Mary's is binding. So it is a little different than early action. If you have questions about it, let your admission counselor know. Um, we have our students uh, submit their high school transcript, the application. We are a test optional institution as well too. Um, and then a counselor recommendation letter. Uh, it's also just important to know that we take an extremely holistic review process from reviewing the applications here at St. Mary's. At the end of the day, we want to know if students will be successful, not just for one year, but for all four years. And with that, if you have any questions, please go ahead and put them in the chat or you can email me. Uh, we hope to see you on campus soon for either an on-campus visit or virtually with some of our offerings that we have. Thank you. Thank you very much for that presentation. As a final reminder for our attendees, if you do have questions, we're here to answer them. So definitely do not hesitate to put those into the Q&A below. Up next, Dominican University. Thank you. All right. Well, good evening uh, to everyone. My name is Ruben Brownlee. I'm our Senior Associate Director here at Dominican University. Uh, we always like to start off with saying we're a small school with big results. To kind of give you an idea of where we're located, we are about 10 miles due west of downtown Chicago. 
Uh, we're actually easily located off the Green Line if you're familiar with Chicago Lane area. But from the Indianapolis area, we're probably about a solid three hours away to get to our campus. Uh, a lot of different opportunities where you connect with the neighboring town of Oak Park, but we're located in River Forest. And like I said, as I always tell students, if you look to the east of our campus, you see the skyline of the city. And if you look to the west of the campus, you might see deers or squirrels roaming our campus. A little bit about Dominican, uh, we are, our average class size is about 15 to 1, uh, 10 to 1 student teacher ratio, but also you get to be able to connect with your professors here at Dominican. I know that we always boast that we have zero lecture halls, but due to COVID, we actually moved our Lund Auditorium that houses about 1,100 people to see a play or production on campus into one of our uh, academic classrooms for some uh, social distancing spacing. Here's a snapshot of our current class. About uh, We brought in about 465 freshmen. Uh, we have a total enrollment of 3,189, but 37% of our students are first generation students and 69% of color, students of color that attend Dominican University. So a very diverse population, I call it like a little microcosm of Chicago. As you see on the screen, these are a listing of our top 10 majors that we offer here at Dominican. Uh, but we have over 50 different majors that we offer. I always tell students that there might be a major that you might be interested in. You could be able to make your own major here, but we also do have everybody's favorite major, which is called I don't know or undecided. You don't have to declare your major until your first semester of your junior year. So every student that comes to Dominican is going to have a first year advisor and then also uh, a peer advisor to be able to help you navigate your time here at Dominican University. As I mentioned, professors, uh, we have all, all professors here at Dominican, and sometimes your professors are going to be part of your research here at Dominican, or be able to be a co-author on one of your journal writings that you might present here at Dominican University. Also, we do have a lot of academic support here at Dominican from our peer mentors to our advisors check in with our students regularly uh, just to make sure they're on the right path. But if you're not, if you're looking for a school that you're not going to get that resources, we might not be the school for you because we are going to give you all the resources here to be challenged, but they'd be able to do it together during your time here. We have career development that's involved with students starting their first year here at Dominican University. Uh, our career development office is involved with you in regards to resume writing, uh, your career goals, being able to look at different options. But also within our School of Business, we actually have something called Executive Residents, which are former chief uh, recruiters and CEOs that are working with our students to be able to put their best foot forward when they apply for those internships and job opportunities from college. Kind of give you an idea of our in different internships. So students that want to go into digital cinema will be able to work with NBC Universal Media. Students that want to go into finance will be able to work with Morgan Stanley. So just to name a few of the different internships that we offer, not just in Chicago land area, but also nationally as well too. Also, uh, as I mentioned, we're a Catholic university and we also talk about giving back and being able to be involved. So we actually have over 180 community-based learning projects that you can be able to do within the area, but alternative spring breaks in different areas as well too to be, be connected. And also we're one of the first two colleges to offer study abroad, but we actually have 20 study abroad programs that students are able to take advantage of here at the institution, some for semesters, some for five week programs in the summer, even two week alternative opportunities as well. We are division three for athletics, which means we do not offer any athletic scholarship, but we have very competitive programs uh, ranging from 14 intercollegiate sports teams. Our newest athletic program we started last some, last fall was our women's bowling uh, that we offer here. But right now, uh, one of our prominent sports teams is our men's soccer team and also our men's and women's volleyball program here at Dominican. But we also have different opportunities for you to, if you don't want to be part of intercollegiate athletics, being able to compete in the intramural programs that we offer. And we have a very competitive intramural bowling league that's free of charge for students to be able to be able to participate in. Also, if you might not want to be involved in athletics, but we do act, actually have 35 different clubs and organizations here at Dominican, ranging from academic clubs to special interest club to different ethnic clubs and also university ministry. So you can always find your niche here at Dominican or you can even start your own club organization at our university. 
So if there's any seniors on the call, we are rolling admission. So we do have our own application, but we're also participating in the Common App. For any 20, class of 2022, you can start applying around mid-August, uh, uh, and usually admission decisions happen around October, and we go, like I mentioned, a rolling admission style. Speaking of when you're admitted, you're also eligible for any different merit-based scholarships, but we also give out different other scholarships. So I'm sure that students are commuting from coming from Indiana, coming to Dominican, there is a residence life award of $4,000. Also students who are 21st century scholars or part of a CBO, they're also eligible for our success scholarship, which is additional $2,500 that we offer. And what I have on the screen right now just talks about, we'd be able to scan to learn about our student ambassadors and connect with our student ambassadors. So you might find someone that's interested in biology. So you can be able to have a connection with our students here on campus. And as, as my, many of my colleagues says that we are open for visits. So you're able to visit our uh, campus and visit our website to visit campus. And then here's my contact information as well. So thank you for participating tonight and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Thank you for that presentation. Our final institution for this session is Savannah College of Art and Design. Hi everyone, I'm just getting the PowerPoint pulled up here. Okay, my name is Kelly Joe. I am the Assistant Director of Admission with the Savannah College of Art and Design here to talk to you guys a little bit about this. Um, thanks everyone for joining in this evening. These have been some great presentations so far. So SCAD, um, also, well, we are also known as SCAD, Savannah College of Art and Design. We were founded in 1978 down in the beautiful Savannah, Georgia. Um, since then, we have grown to become one of the most comprehensive and connected art and design universities. So we now have global locations. We have expanded not to just Savannah, but we have a campus in Atlanta, Georgia. We have a beautiful study abroad location in La Crosse, France. And then we do have our e-learning program, which is completely online. What's uh, one of my favorite things about SCAD is that once a student is admitted, they're actually admitted to every campus and they do have the opportunity to study at each one. So whether you like the thriving metropolitan hub in Atlanta, if you want to stick away to the peaceful scenic hills in the south hills of France for that study abroad opportunity, and then the beautiful coastal scenic Georgia, um, we are down along the historic district of Savannah. So we're about 25 minutes from the beach from Tybee Island. And then that e-learning program, which is online, is available at any point as well. So this is a great opportunity for right now if you're wanting to stay at home. Um, or, you know, maybe you get an internship opportunity to go to California or New York City. You can go do those internships and still take those classes online through e-learning. Like I said, we have a lot of students that take advantage of each one of our campus locations um, and get to actually do all of them. So in those um, 40 years since we've started, we have grown quite a bit. We now have about 15,000 students at SCAD. Uh, we actually have students coming from all 50 states and more than 100 different countries. So we've got about a 26% international population at SCAD. So we're very diverse, gonna get to meet people from all over the world. In that time, we have also grown in all of our program offerings. We now have over 40 different majors at SCAD. We've got over 75 different minors. So definitely a lot of different opportunities to be an artist, to be a creator, to be a designer. So yes, we do have what you might normally think of when it comes to art and design. We've got painting and illustration and photography, but we've got so much more than that. We've got animation and architecture. We've got film and TV and fashion. We've even started just a couple of newer programs. For example, the business of beauty and fragrance. In this program, you're not actually creating makeup, but you are getting to do the branding, marketing, advertising. Um, another really new program that we recently started is the social strategy and management program, which is really heavily diving into social media, being able to sell your work online, going into the data and analytics to social media, you know, and really looking at that marketing, branding, um, advertising side of things. Um, one of the other new majors we recently started is called immersive reality. So really diving into some of that virtual and augmented reality. But as you can see here, we definitely have a lot of different program offerings um, with all of our majors and minors combined. We've got over 100 different degree programs. One of my favorite things though, is that you don't have to have any prior experience. We're gonna teach you from the ground up everything you need to know. We don't require a portfolio for admission. So if there is something that you're interested in studying, but you haven't ever been able to take a class in that before, that's okay. We're gonna teach you what you need to know. 
So speaking of numbers here, we've got to talk about my favorite one. This is our 99% alumni employment data. So this data comes from spring 2019. We're still working on all the 2020 data, but from spring 2019, 99% of our graduates reported either being employed or seeking further education or both within 10 months of graduating. Out of that number, 91% reported being employed in a creative field. So this right here really goes to show you the quality of a SCAD education. Not yes, our students are coming in to get prepared for these Bachelor of Art and Bachelor of Fine Art, but they're also getting prepared to get a job afterwards. Actually, a job in something they like doing, and something they're passionate about. This is through our internship connections, and this is through our faculty that we bring on campus. Uh, we actually um, require that our faculty have industry experience. So some of our students are currently working at Netflix, Chanel, Pixar. They're currently at Apple and Spotify and Instagram. So if any of this is sounding good, you want to get some more information, head over to scad.edu for all things SCAD. Super easy to remember. Um, and then I want to quickly just talk about the admission process. We are also on rolling admission, which means you can start the application process as a junior, move all the way until the end of senior year to get everything in. So once you start that 10 minute application, you're going to get connected to an admission advisor who's going to walk you through all those next steps, what you need to get submitted. We give a preference of a 3.0 GPA. We definitely want you to come down and visit campus. That's the best way to see it is to see it in person. We do daily tours at our Atlanta and Savannah locations um, every day of the week except for Sunday. You can definitely come down and see us and that way you can connect with your um, advisor in person. So if you're interested in scheduling an in-person or virtual tour, head over to scad.edu slash visit to schedule either one of those. And if you want to get more information, you can follow the QR code here with your phone, all the fun stuff. And then lastly, I do want to leave you with my contact information. I am your regional representative for SCAD. I actually live in Cincinnati, Ohio. So thank you guys so much for your time this evening, and we appreciate it. Thank you to every institution that was able to be here today and share a lot of information with us. I'm going to share my screen now so our panelists can actually answer a question for you guys to give you a little bit more information about some things that take place on their campus. So the question is, what is your favorite event or tradition on your campus? And we'll be going in presentation order. So up first is Butler University. So I gave a little bit of a sneak preview during my presentation, but homecoming is a really special time on Butler's campus. And I know we're eager to get back to that this fall. My favorite tradition is our Butler Bulldog Beauty Contest. We have over a hundred different bulldogs of all types of bulldog breeds come to campus, walk a runway in a fun costume and really share their Butler spirit. Marion University. Yes, um, at Marion, we have uh, several uh, 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 events that we have, uh, but I think my favorite would be our uh, Union for Black Identities, their Soul Food Dinner. Um, they have it in February to celebrate Black History Month, and they uh, do a wonderful job with the food. Our dining staff is usually um, catering the food, and uh, we have a, nice, a great speaker and just a great time of fellowship. So. I would say that would be my favorite event on campus. Indiana State University. Yeah, so um, my favorite tradition slash event is uh, Donahue Day on campus. So we're actually ranked number two in the country for um, community service and giving back. So that's basically St. Mary's College. Yes, yeah, so my favorite tradition would have to be our opening closing of the circle that we do. All of our students, their first year during orientation weekend, will all gather together um, outside of Lamon Hall, which is not only where the Office of Admission is and the Office of the President, but also a residential hall for students. Um, and it's really just a great way to welcome students into the St. Mary's community. It's bringing our class together as one um, and getting everybody excited for what their next four years will have. And then four years later, right before our students graduate, they get 
back in the same circle, but instead of closing it, they're actually opening it, um, signifying that they are ready to go and take everything they've learned at St. Mary's and apply it into whatever their next adventure has in store for them. But it's also reminding them that they always have a place to come back to and a community that will be there for them. Um, so that is my favorite tradition. Dominican University. That's one of my favorite traditions is actually DU Fest. It's usually the, the day before the first day of classes. Uh, we actually have a, a quad area, which we have inflatables and it's like a big fun festival where faculty and staff and first year students, returning students, they're able to connect. Uh, you might see some of our active sisters uh, doing a uh, bean bog toss, bean bag toss, or being able to try out different foods from our food truck that we have vendors that come in. So DU Fest is probably one of our festive uh, traditions that we have, which is the day before classes begin for the fall semester. And SCAD. Yeah, one of my favorite events that we do on campus is going to be one of our fashion shows, which is a lot of fun. Um, we actually let students from any major be models for the fashion show if they want to, so you don't have to be in the fashion major in order to be a part of it. And if any of you have ever seen America's Next Top Model, you know who Miss J Alexander is. He actually comes down and helps our models learn how to walk the runway. So it's a lot of fun, um, and it's just a great event that we do on our city. Thank you everyone for joining us today. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. And we'll appreciate any feedback you can give us. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording at the same site where you registered. Again, thank you for joining us and have a great evening.